morning. It is January 14th, 2018, and if you have seen the news this morning, um, you have seen that there was an accidental false alert that went out to everyone in Hawaii saying that there was an incoming ballistic missile, and so people are just like panicked and in a frenzy and very upset with the government right now. Um, so that was a very interesting thing to wake up to. Um, obviously, I'm not in Hawaii. I'm in South Carolina. Um, but it's just all over media right now. Hey, guys. Sorry I've not been very good about vlogging this week. Um, yesterday was Monday, and it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, so kind of had the day off of school, and... Um, yeah, didn't do much. Um, watched TV, of course, watched Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech on YouTube. Um, and then was just looking at travel vlogs and stuff. I don't know, I didn't really do much. And then, um, today, again, I didn't really do much. Um, Elsie was very talkative today, so actually I spent most of the day talking with her and then finally got out of the house, um, picked up some pizza for dinner, brought it back, just hung out with um, my roommates, I guess, here. And Kyle's really excited because we're expecting snow tomorrow and his school um, already said that they're going to cancel, so he's excited to have a snow day tomorrow. Um, yeah, not really anything exciting. Um, I guess the other thing I've been doing is just applying for jobs. Um, you guys know if you've been watching that I recently got certified as an EMT and I recently moved from Washington State to South Carolina. I am living with a friend and her family and there's a couple other friends of hers living here with us right now. Um, so it is a packed house but um, I'm just watching um, her mom and her husband, who are both older and have some health issues, um, so I am watching them, and yeah, that's pretty much my week. Nothing too exciting happening here. So, this morning I just walked downstairs and fed the dog and helped Elsie get up and got her breakfast and stuff, and um, as I was about to walk back upstairs, the news was on. And they said that in Puerto Rico, 40%, 40 percent, 40% of the island is still without power from Hurricane Maria, which happened back in September of 2017, and we are now in January of 2018. That just blows my mind. 40%, 40% of the island is without power. I just can't even wrap my head around that. That's just crazy. That's crazy. Um, it's like just barely a flurry of snow. It's mostly just wet rain coming down, but school is canceled and um, yeah, like all the schools in the area are canceled for today. And on the news, it's so funny. They're like, stay inside, don't go anywhere if you don't have, like, it's not even cold enough for it to freeze over. Like, yes, the roads are wet here, but they're not icy at all or anything. They're like, stay home unless you have to go somewhere. If you do have to go somewhere, top off your gas and make sure you have a blanket and food and water. Oh man. Angie and I are just, she, she's been living in Nebraska, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're both getting a good chuckle out of this, but Kyle's happy because he has the day off of school, um, but yeah, that is what's happening today, it is mostly raining, there's a little bit of kind of slushy snow mixed in there, a little flurry, but South Carolinians just don't know how to deal with cold rain. It's, it's cold rain. It's not even freezing. The roads are not icy, but everyone's freaking out. So, update. You can probably see it a little bit. It is snowing. Nice big chunk of snow now, but it's not sticking. 
um, it's just melting as soon as it hits the ground. But I brought the dog out here, and I don't think he's ever really experienced snow before. And he's scared. He's so scared of it. Are you scared of the snow, baby? You want to go back inside? Is it too cold? Come here. Come here. You'll be fine. You're okay. Come on. He's like, nope, I'm just going to stay by the door. I don't like it. Take me back inside. Take me back inside, huh? Oh. It's okay. It's okay, baby. I'll protect you. I'll protect you from the snow. Guys, okay, sorry. I've been, like, filming in the same spot with, like, the same clothes and hair. This is just what I wear to sleep. So this is what I wear before I go to bed, and this is what I wear when I wake up in the morning. That's just the reality. I promise I've moved from this position. Um, but there is another YouTuber that I found out about who is in South Carolina. And so, um, we're gonna try to collab on some stuff in the future. So I am really excited about that. Yeah, I will put a link to her um, channel down in the description, but you can also just look her up. It's just basic mom, two words, basic mom. And uh, she seems like a lot of fun, so I'm excited to uh, get together with her sometime in the nearish future and work on some stuff together. It's good to uh, find other people in the biz. I feel like everyone in the states who is a youtuber especially vloggers are all in like california or new york um and a lot of that is because that's where youtube studios are so studios are creative spaces where people can come together and collaborate and stuff so a lot of people who are in the industry um either start out because they live in those areas and they know other people who do it and stuff or they move to those areas because there's just so much more opportunity for collaborations and stuff in those areas. And also, I mean, especially California, that's where like VidCon is and stuff. So like a lot of the major events, um, I believe that's where YouTube head corporate offices, I believe is in California. Don't quote me on that though. I don't actually know for sure. Nope, you can quote me on it. I just looked it up. It is in San Bruno, California. So, that is where YouTube all began. This is such a cool platform because anyone can create content and upload it directly to the internet. Um, and so, I don't know. I just think that's really cool. People have a huge platform. Um, to make positive change and influence in the world and to just be real and share um, life and the good, the bad struggles. Um, and I just think it's a really cool platform. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't have enough good things to say about it. But also I'm tired and I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, but anyways, um, so I already got Elsie up out of bed and got her her breakfast and coffee and stuff, and now I came back up here, so I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second, but I am going to take some Advocare supplements, read my Bible, um, yeah, I'll film that for you guys because I'm sorry I haven't been doing a good job of filming this week. Okay, yeah, so this morning we are on the max phase. So this is MNS metabolic, metabolic, metabolic nutrition system. So it is Hizzy's most little pockets here. And so I am just going to take this one, which is the one that you take 30 minutes before breakfast. I don't know if you can see that. You know, you know, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take that right now, and then wait 30 minutes, read my Bible, and then I'll take the next one, which are these ones down here, and then I will take my Spark. I have switched over to the Fruit Punch flavor, which is one of my favorites, and then I have, um, my vanilla meal replacement shake, so I'll have one of those. So, yeah, that's, that's my morning. That's what I'm doing. And I need to make my bed and clean.
clean because this room is a mess. Um, actually, I think I might do a clean with me because I have some new cleaning products coming in the mail, hopefully today. So I might just wait a little while and do a clean with me. Hi, so it has been a while. Um, Kyle had a two hour delay because the roads were kind of iced over this morning. Um, but I dropped him off at school and now I am going to get some cleaning done. Um, I stopped and picked up mail and I have a really awesome box from Grove um, of Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products. I got them at a really good discount. I got a bunch of free products and a bunch of discounted products and so I'm going to clean. I'm not doing like a real deep clean or anything. I just want things to look a little nicer than they are right now. But um, I'm going to do an unboxing with you guys and then we will get to cleaning. So like I said, this box is from Grove Collaborative. Okay guys, so we are going to open this up and I'll show you what I got. So first things first, we have these walnut um, and cellulose scrubbing sponges. So those are nice. I got a couple of those. I have this nice little pin. It says Grove on it and this is going to be to keep all my stuff in. And soap. This is the vanilla. Um, yeah, vanilla. So we got that. And we got glass spray bottle. Um, if I can open it. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll open that in a little bit, but that's there. The cleaning essential set. So this has the orange and rosemary. Um, these are just one ounce little concentrates and there's three of them in here so that goes with the spray bottle um, bamboo um, antibacterial all-purpose cleaning um, I guess this one's not Mrs. Myers this one's method but most of the stuff in here is Myers antibacterial toilet cleaning the bathroom cleaner The glass cleaner, this is the lemon verbana scent. Just a lavender refill for the hand soap. Lemon verbana multi-surface everyday cleaner. Some all-purpose microfiber cleaning cloths from Grove. We got the daily shower spray from Method. This is the eucalyptus mint so that'll smell really good some lemon dish soap so I am going to open all these up and get to cleaning first we're gonna make the bed It's way more difficult than you would think it'd be because it's just in this weird corner of the room and there's not much space on either side to stand next to it. So you kind of have to like crawl into it to make it. But look at how nice it is with all those pillows. He says, wake up and be fabulous. Woo! So I am realizing that there is no good place to set my GoPro. I have a um, monopod but it's just one of those little mini ones so I'm trying to figure out maybe I might just attach it to the mirror yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do It looks so much better and it worked pretty well. I have the GoPro mounted up there um, and that seemed to work but oh, it smells really good. 
Um, let me show you the one that I used. So I just used the Lemon Verbana glass cleaner and I used the Lemon Verbana multi-surface cleaner. That's all I used to do that and it smells so lemony fresh in here now. And then of course I put out my new um, lavender hand soap there. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It is amazing. Thanks, Miss Myers. Thanks, Grove. My bathroom is clean. So I just want to comment real quick. Of course, I am cleaning the other part of the bathroom, um, you know, the toilet and the shower and stuff, but that part is shared with some other people. Um, and also the, um, like, toilet brush scrubber is in another bathroom and the people, like, ugh. The setup of this house is weird because you had to go through a bedroom to get to any of the bathrooms and so people are sleeping in the other room um so i can't just go in there to get the scrubber so i'm gonna do that later and i'm just gonna clean the shower the next time i take a shower because i think it's a lot easier to just keep the cleaner in it and just clean it after every time you use it so that's my plan but we'll go downstairs and clean the kitchen now is clean my bed is made the bathroom is clean um, the, the bedroom is still kind of messy still need to work on that but um, I am going to have some lunch but before I can do that I need to take some more advocate products so I'm going to be taking this top one waiting 30 minutes and then I'll have the bottom one with lunch I think I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers from earlier in the week so yep that's what I'm doing it is now Saturday and the big news now is that the US government shut down last night because um, Republicans and Democrats in the Senate cannot agree so yep I hate the two-party system anyways um it doesn't particularly affect me Essential things still go on. Um, I'm still gonna get my mail. I mean, but it sucks for all the people who are at work who are being furloughed, and it really sucks for people in the military who are required to continue to work without pay. And I don't know, I guess it kind of ruins plans because I would like to go out to. Congaree National Park, but national parks and stuff will be closed, so. Yep, the U.S. government shut down at midnight last night because they can't figure out budgets. So, it's happened before. It happened in 2013. It's really not a big deal. It's just, I don't know, annoying. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'll see you again next week. Hopefully, we'll have stuff to talk about other than the news. But, you know, there's a lot of interesting stuff in the news this week, so that's what made it into this vlog. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, hit subscribe if you haven't already done so, and once you hit subscribe, hit the little bell to adjust your notification settings, and I'll see you guys again next week. So one more thing I realized that I did not mention. I did create an Instagram, uh, Instagram account this week to accompany this YouTube channel, so I will leave a link down below to that, as well as a link, of course, to my Advocare website, and I am also thinking about making a Facebook page to also accompany this YouTube channel and so if that is something you are interested in definitely leave a comment for me let me know um, what I'm kind of thinking for that page is just um, for it to be a place to put out some polls 
on what kind of content you guys would like to see in the future. You can also, of course, leave comments just on YouTube. Um, cause I know this vlog especially is kind of like all over the place and, you know, I, you know, y like this channel is not going to grow without you guys, you, the viewers, um, really impact what videos do and do not get seen on the YouTube platform. Um, especially with all the new rules around monetization. Um, I'll leave some more information about that down in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, I'd really just like your guys' feedback, and so let me know um, what kind of content you would like to see in the future, and if a Facebook page is something you'd be interested in. One more thing in recent news, teenagers have been eating Tide Pods, and I just don't understand. You know what a Tide Pod is for?